you guys don't have to answer this out loud, obviously, but how many of you know someone who has or you have personally suffered from an eating disorder? Um, in America, 8 million men, women of all ages suffer from eating disorders, 95% of which are between the age of 12 and 25, and at least 50% of Americans at least know someone who has an eating disorder. So today I'm going to tell you about two um, really prominent eating disorders, anorexia and bulimia. I'm going to tell you about my experience, and then I'm going to tell you how we can help people who develop eating disorders. Um, so first, what is anorexia? It's just an emotional, or not just, it's an emotional disorder um, that's called like an obsessive um, desire to lose weight by refusing to eat. Um, that was just from Webster, so. A few of, this is according to Stanley Key's article called Understanding Anorexia Nervosa, um, but a few of the physical and emotional effects are extreme weight loss, fatigue, um, irritability, perfectionism, low self-esteem, and just like an obsessive personality. Okay, so what is bulimia? It's also an emotional disorder involving the distortion of your body image. Um, with an obsessive desire to lose weight, but instead of not eating, you'll either overeat or purge or induce self-induced vomiting and um, fasting purging. If you guys don't know, is when you just like eat a lot one meal or all day, and then at the end of the day, you like force yourself to throw up. Um, and according to R. Kersky, a few of the physical and emotional effects are depression, anxiety, social isolation isolation, heart attacks, death, and then um, this also causes extreme um, harm to your esophagus, stomach, teeth, intestines, kidneys, and heart just because of like forcing yourself to throw up so much. So my experience, um, this is McKenna. I met her in 2014 through the University of Texas. She played volleyball here. Um, she was from Colorado. She loved working out. Um, she loved eating like all these different like exotic foods. She was really competitive and fierce and fun to be around. She had a great personality. Um, her freshman year, she had a really good volleyball season, but um, during the off season, a lot of stuff went downhill. Like I said, she's from Colorado, so back home, her parents got a divorce. Um, the guy she was dealing with turned out not to be so good. Her mom got diagnosed with cancer. Like a lot of stuff just happened and there's a few things that can trigger or cause eating disorders to develop, um, such as maybe the sport you're playing requires you to like maintain a certain weight, or you have a lot of stress going on in your life, and you feel like you're losing control, so you try to control that one thing that you feel like you can't control, which is kind of what happened in her um, case, I guess. So this was like, over time, she lost a lot of weight, and she developed bulimia, so, when she would eat, she would just force herself to throw it up just because we are athletes. So if you don't eat at all, like, there's no way you can compete in the sport. Even though um, her level of play did go down as she developed the eating disorder. So next, we're going to talk about how we can help people that develop these eating disorders. Um, and the first step is just to understand that it's not just about like losing weight. It's emotional. It's psychological. So. It's not just about them wanting to look a certain way. Um, when you know someone who has it, talk about it with someone first if you feel like you can't just have that open conversation with them because that is a hard conversation to have. And you don't want to come off as judgmental or like attack them for what they're struggling with. And then figure out the solution that works best for them, whether it's a nutritionist or therapy, a psychiatrist or medication. Um, and then educate yourself on the side so that you can help them as you see it happening. So with McKenna, or sorry, a few signs for bulimia are anxiety, social isolation, negative and disordered body image, and then that's according to DEMC as well. And then um, a few warning signs for anorexia is refusal to eat, denial of hunger, um, obsession with body shape, mood swings, baggy clothes, and complaining to be fat. And those um, warning signs kind of overlap with each other, and McKenna kind of the few of the warning signs that she gave off was refusal to eat baggy clothes and pretending to be fat when she clearly wasn't. Um, but with McKenna, we figured out the way that we helped her was we got her a nutritionist and she kind of realized that the environment here wasn't good for her. So she did go back to Colorado and got 
a counselor and a psychiatrist that she talked to. Um, her mom's currently going through chemo, so everything's kind of just turning around. Um, and she's also playing at the university, or Colorado State, so she did keep playing volleyball. But I hope that you guys, from my presentation, you learned a few warning signs and you can figure out how to help someone if you or someone you love ever develops a eating disorder. Thank you for your time.